What's going on YouTube? It's EJ4V back with another video. As you see from the title and thumbnail, this video is going to be how to overclock your controller on PC for Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1. So basically when you plug in your controller to your PC, whether it's a PlayStation controller, Xbox controller, or whatever controller you use, it's automatically set to a 5 millisecond response time and that's bad. You'll be at a competitive disadvantage playing with a controller with a 5 millisecond response time. So in this video, I'll show you how to get that response time to 1 millisecond for your controller. So if you know anything about PCs, you know you can't really overclock your controller because you can't turn up the voltage or the fans. So in simpler terms, overclocking your controller, all you're doing is updating the controller's drivers. Because PC's main input is keyboard and mouse, so they just have outdated controller drivers. So this is the website we'll be using today. The link will be in the description. It's completely safe, I promise. There's no viruses or nothing. There's hundreds of other YouTube videos using the same exact website for overclocking your controller on PC, so it's safe. All right, now you're on the website. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the third link, the hidusbf.zip, the third one. Not the fourth one that says FN, the third one. You're going to click on that and then you're going to click download. So after you download it, you can save it to wherever you want. As you see, I saved mine to my desktop. So after you save it, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open it and you want to click extract all. But after you extract it, it's no longer going to be a zip file. So what you want to go ahead and do is open it. And as you see, you see all of these things. What you're going to want to click on is driver and then setup at the bottom. If it asks to make changes, just click yes. All right, so this is what it looks like. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the top left where it says mice. You're gonna click on the drop down menu and you're gonna click all so you're able to see your controller. So after you go to the top left and click the drop down menu and click all, you're gonna wanna find your controller. You're gonna wanna find where it says wireless controller. At this point, you're gonna wanna make sure your controller is plugged in. This only works if you played wired. If you play Bluetooth, this is not gonna work, unfortunately. All right, so now how to actually overclock your controller. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hover over your controller, make it blue, you're gonna wanna highlight it, and you're gonna wanna click install service. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna go to the selected rate and you wanna change that to 1000. It will not be on 1000, so change it to 1000 and then click install service. Next, you're gonna wanna go over to filter on device. You wanna check that on and then you're gonna wanna click install service once again. At this point, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna unplug your controller for five seconds and then plug it back in. You'll notice when you unplug your controller, it's gonna go away from the drop down menu, it's gonna disappear. But once you plug it back in, it will reappear in the drop down menu. And as you see, when you plug back in your controller, it should say filter yes, rate 1000 and one, if you did it correctly. If it doesn't, that means you did it wrong. So you're gonna wanna repeat the process and do it again. So that's how you overclock your controller on PC to gain a competitive advantage. What's so good about this is you don't have to open it before you play. So all you have to do is do it once and you'll be good forever. If you do get a new controller or USB, you should definitely go back and check to see if it's still overclocked. Because me personally, I got a new controller and I had to overclock it again. And if your controller ever feels delayed or has a lot of input delay, you could just go back and check to see if it's still overclocked. But that's the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if this video helped you out. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions about overclocking your controller. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a future upload. Thanks for watching. Peace.